guys, Mike Irwin here. Um, I wanted to throw up a quick tutorial, Hope, hopefully it's quick, because it's a really simple little trick. Um, I call it a poor man's filter. It's a way of basically using your channel EQ and creating a filter. Um, doesn't have to be on a MIDI track. It can be on an audio track. We're going to do it on a MIDI track here, but uh, it's without the use of any plugins. And like I said, just using the channel EQ for any channel strip. Um, this is a project I'm working on. Uh, hopefully it's coming toward completion sometime soon, but because it's so dense, I'm going to zoom in here a bit and just pick a section. Um, try to get it in the window. I'm making my logic window smaller for these tutorials because if I maximize it, then everything's too small to see on YouTube. So let me just get in here. Okay, now you can start to see the MIDI track here for our sidechain bass that I've got and as it gets toward the end of the clip I have highlighted here you'll hear it sort of filter out into nothing as it goes into the next section of the song so we'll give that a listen so you can see what we're dealing with so you can pick out which exact part of the song we're dealing with. I'll go ahead and solo that. Now this, like I said, this is a side-chained bass, so um, this next track down here is actually the kick drum that is the source of the side chain. so I'll solo it as well so you can hear it. And what I'll do is also go ahead and on this track I'll go ahead and pull up the channel EQ and put it on screen so you can see what happens as it filters out here. So that's basically what does it, that movement of the filter across, um, movement of the EQ, I might say. Anyway, and it's super simple. I'm going to make it simple. I'm going to make it quick. Start with the track, pull up a channel EQ, and I'm using this band here. And you know what you're going to start off with is you know, a flat EQ. Go ahead and take this low end here and uh, crank that down to you know 24 dB per octave. Uh, get the Q set to two, um, you know, so it's more of like an act, you know, as much of a wall as you can create. And uh, you know, starting point is not really relevant here. I, I had it started way down here towards like 20 hertz, um, but you're going to automate that. And the way that you do that is basically in Logic, you turn on this automation mode here. And now you'll see, let me zoom that track up a little taller. What you'll see is this purple line here represents the automation of that parameter. And what that is, is it's really easy in Logic. You go to this drop down here and you've got all of these things that are part of the track. There's the massive synth, everything you can automate within massive, your compressor, uh, channel EQ. What I've got, you can see it's already selected here, is I went and used channel EQ low shelf frequency because that's the band in the EQ uh, low shelf that, that I use to sweep across. And once you've got that, you've got your automation uh, source selected and you can just draw it in. And that's, that's it, you know, quick and dirty filter. Why would you want to do that? Well, you know, sometimes you're using a synth and I think this is actually a good example on this one in Massive. Um, as you can see, my Filter 1 and Filter 2 are pro already pretty well used as part of the patch. I don't have any more filters. Um, yes, there's plugins, there's filter plugins and things like that you can use. Um, like I said, this is quick, this is dirty. Um, some people might not want to use it because you know, you've already got that track EQ'd, you don't want to mess up your EQ. Well, that's exactly why I have you know, two different channel EQs on this track. That way I can go ahead and sweep on this one, and then if I just need a general high-end cut or a general eye, you know, low-end cut or something like that, um, I, I can go ahead and throw another one in line and, and do that that way. So 
Um, that's it. Simple poor man's filter using channel EQ. I hope that uh, that was helpful to anyone out there. I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you like these tutorials, I hopefully will be putting more of them up later. Um, subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Facebook um, where I've got my own music as well as other audio related things. And um, once again, thanks for stopping by.